What's up, Sun Rays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, happy new year. How often are we supposed to say happy new year? Do we just say it at the beginning of January? Do we say it the whole month of January? When do you stop saying happy new year to people? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, this video is going to be another empties I know guys I'm going through this stuff like crazy going through this stuff like crazy so <clears throat> in this bag are all my empties that I have used up since my last empties and um, I actually got two other bags of empties over there but those are like household and kitchen items I wasn't sure if um, you guys wanted to see that or not. So let me know if that is something that you would want to see on my channel as well as the household and kitchen items. I was um, adding the spices and things like that that I used up in with my hair care and my um, body care and beauty items. And then I thought, well, maybe I need to separate those. I Sorry, hair is in my eye. I thought maybe I needed to separate those so I put that stuff in different bags and then at, every time I go to pick it up to do an empties on it I'm like are they really interested in what I use up as far as household cleaning items and you know seasonings and kitchen items and stuff like that so I don't know if you're not interested let me know that if you are let me know that and then I'll decide on what I'm gonna do with those things but anyway today we are going to be talking about hair care body care things of that sort beauty so I'm just gonna pull out in no particular order like I always do and let you know what I've used up and whether I would repurchase it or not. So here we go. So the first thing that I used up was the St. Knives Coconut Water and Orchid Body Wash. And remember I told you guys about St. Knives not too long ago. I really like their um, oatmeal and shea butter one. It smells really good. It lathers well. This one I like too. I just don't like the scent as well, but it's still a nice pleasant scent. You just pick up the uh, floral scent in it, the orchid in it or whatever, which isn't bad. It's just not my favorite. I prefer the oatmeal and shea scent. So I did use that up as well. So I went on and pulled both of those out. So so yeah, I definitely would repurchase this one again and I would repurchase this one if I could find it on sale and if they were out of this. But I prefer this one and I would look for other scents before I would purchase this one. But it's good, it lathers up, it cleanses and things of that sort and it's affordable so you can't beat that. So the next thing I used up was the She Scented Royal Honey and Argon Hair Mask for very dry hair, love this. Would definitely repurchase this it has slip out of this world it smells so good and you can definitely detangle with it it gives you moisture out of this world so I love she scented deep conditioners the ones that I've tried so far I have loved so I definitely would repurchase this next thing I used up was the bread beauty hair wash that looks like this and this was sent to me by Bread Beauty. This is kind of like a co-wash, so it is creamy. It definitely has um, cleansers in it and your hair feels hydrated and just feels really good. It smells good. All of their products smell really sweet and fruity. Like this one smells like Fruit Loops, the cereal or something like that, but this is really good. So I definitely would repurchase this hair wash from Bread Beauty. Next thing I used up was the Unicurl Aloe Mint Deep Conditioner. It's a two-in-one, and I just recently used this. It was in my To Be Used Up Unicurl. I'm not sure if they're still in business or not. The website is not up anymore, so I don't know. They may be coming back. I think I saw something recently on Instagram where they said they may be coming back, and then they're going to have limited things on sale, so I don't know if that means they're trying to get rid of all their stuff and they're going to be gone, or if they're just bringing back limited items and then they're gonna grow from there. I'm not sure, so it's kind of hard to say, but this element deep conditioner was good. It was moisturizing, it has a nice scent to it or whatever. Unicurl had um, pretty good products, so I like this. I also like their, I think it was a four-in-one like cream. And then they also have another conditioner that's like a three-minute conditioner that's supposed to act like a, a deep conditioner give you that deep conditioner feeling and conditioning. 
but only have it on your hair for like three to five minutes. I like that as well. So anyway, just want to put that out there. I just don't know if it's available or not. Um, next thing I used up was the Aunt Jackie's Ice Curls Curling Jelly. And um, I have been holding on to this jar. Did I put this in my last empties? I have been holding on to this jar. It's only, you know, a corner in here. Nothing worth I can do anything with. But I was holding on to this jar because I wanted to put it in my favorite gels. And I just recently did my favorite gels maybe, maybe a month ago. Um, maybe not even that long ago. So now, you know, I used it up and I like this and I definitely would repurchase this. This is really good. It defines the hair. It gives you a more fluffy wash and go in my opinion, at least for me it does, but it still gives me the hold that I need and the definition that I need, even though there's not a whole lot of crunch. So I love this gel. Next thing I used up was the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. It looks like this. This is going to be an, I don't know. I really, I used to really, really love this, but now it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes I love it, it feels really good. Other times it just feels okay. I don't know if that means, um, I need to do more experimenting with it. I need to know what am I using with it for it to feel really good? Is it the shampoo I used before it or what? Or is it something within the formula that has changed. I'm not sure. It's not a bad product. It's still a good product. I just like some other deep conditioners better now, but I definitely still like the Curls Blueberry Bliss line. The leave-in is great. And I do have a, um, a couple of the, oh, something's in my eye, guys. I do have a couple of these over on my shelf still, so I won't be purchasing anytime soon. Next thing that's in my empties i do want to let you know that i did put in some of my empties some things that was in my to be used up because i know that i'm not going to use them up they have been in there and i hadn't used them since the last time i showed you my to be used up which was my last stash video last year and i still hadn't gotten to these things and they're just so old now or whatever so i'm not going to use them up so one of those things is the as you can see is the aloe rose clay um, clay wash, aloe rose clay wash from Chocolate Kinks and Curls. I only got a very little bit in here. I said I was going to try to go ahead and use it up. I wasn't impressed by it. A lot of people love, you know, Chocolate Kinks and Curls. I wasn't impressed. I had used it and I had a little bit left and pe people were saying, we well, use it like this and do this and do that. And I was going to, but I haven't used it since, um, then and it's been a year or more so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it I will not repurchase well anyway I think chocolate kinks and curls are closing down for a little while I don't know for how long or whatever so you won't be able to buy it anyway next thing that I pulled out of my to be used up that I went on and put in my empties even though it's not empty is the Talil Wajit curly curl cream and again I've used it about down to here it still looks okay and it pretty much smells the same, but I've had it for years. I've had this since before I started my channel, I believe. So that's how long it is. And I've had my channel since 2019, late 2019. So I've had my channel, you know, three years now, a little bit over. So this is just old, it's time to go. I'm not gonna use it. It's a thick cream. A lot of people like it under hard holding gel to give them, you know, the softness from the gel and things of that sort. And because it's a curling cream, it does help to define the hair too. So if it's something that you wanna try, you like creams under your gels, I'd say pick it up, give it a try. For me, it would flake sometimes and yeah, I, I'm not for the flakes. So next thing I used up was the Texture ID three times moisture cream um, conditioner, which you guys know that I love. This is one that you can find at Sally's. It's always on sale. It's 12 ounces, I believe, and it's good. It has a lot of slip to it, so I can definitely detangle with this. It gives you moisture. It works well as a leave-in. It um, rinse out as well as a co-wash, and I've used it for all, and I like it for all of them, but I definitely love it for a rinse out conditioner and I actually like it for a leave-in too. If you use this under something for a leave-in, you will get really moisturized hair, soft hair, and I love it. I will continue to buy this one. This is the original um, Texture ID line and that's the one that I love. 
Next thing I used up was the African Pride Aloe Vera Gel and Coconut Water Curl Defining Gel. Talked about this before and um, I definitely use this up. I like it. Again, gives me nice defined curls, fluffy curls uh, with not that much crunch, but these, it will give you the hold. Your curls are like frozen in <laughs> the style that you put it in. It's very hard to stretch out in my opinion, but I like it. I will say that the last time that I used this though, I did get a headache and I noticed it made me think that the last time I used this before then, I believe I ended up with a headache as well. Um, so I want to do some more research on this before I say whether I'm gonna purchase it again. I already have, I have one down here. I purchased it for Black Friday um, and I'm gonna use it. If I use it again and I get a headache, then I know that it is the gel and I believe it is the ingredient, the TEA. I'll leave it here if you never heard of it, but it is a ingredient that some people have complained about in the eco gels, that they gave them headaches that um, it burned their eyes, things of that sort. And I seems like the last time I used the Eco, that happened to me as well. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna do the research. I haven't had, I haven't had any um, headaches with, you know, the Main Choice gels, the Okra gel that I love and stuff like that. So if I use this again and I get a headache, then I know that it is this gel. So I'm gonna save it for the end. But if that ingredient doesn't bother you, then this is a good gel and it's affordable. So you can find it at Sally's. I would recommend it for the definition, the cost, how much you get, and all that kind of stuff for a wash and go. Next thing I used up was the Nature's Little Secret Coconut Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner. Love Nature's Little Secret. I do have a discount code here um, and a link in my description box. So if you're interested in trying Nature's Little Secret and wanna save some money, feel free to use that discount code. Guys, I would repurchase this. I like it. I love Nature's Little Secret's products. There has not been a product of hers that I have tried that I have not liked yet. So that's just me. I definitely would repurchase this deep conditioner. The next thing I used up was the Always Cleanse Refreshing Wash. It is light scent. This is a feminine wash. If you remember in one of my other videos where I, where I did an empties, I had used up the Couché body wash and I said that I wanted to try some other ones and I think I ended up using up another summer's eve or whatever and i said i was trying a new one it was this one and guys i like it i like it i like that it is a let's see if i can get any out yeah see that it's a nice clear jelly like consistency serum -y almost it lathers well it does have scent to it so if you're someone who doesn't like scent this one may not be for you they may have an unscented i don't know i just happen to see this one is a light scent and it is it is a very very light scent just smells really clean and um feminine like but i like it i haven't had any problems with it no irritation or anything like that and i do consider myself sensitive um, as far as that's concerned and i didn't have any issues with this so I like it, it's one to try if you're interested. This one is 8.4 fluid ounces and I think it's like $7 or something. I think I got a pack of two for like 15 bucks. So it's somewhere maybe around six, $7. So it's affordable compared to, you know, some other ones. Of course, this one is not all natural or anything like that. It does have vitamin E in it and amino acids in it. It is pH balanced and all that stuff. So I just wanted to try it out and I tried it and I liked it. So I'm just sharing it. Next thing I have in my empties is the Curls to Go Curl Cocktail. Now this was in my 2P used up too. And I actually like this Curl Cocktail. As you can see, it is still some in there, but it's, it's, it's um, kind of loose. But I liked it. I like, I've used it for my twist outs as well as some other people's twist outs. Twist outs came out really nice. The problem is, is that it's just, I haven't gravitated to it and now it's really old. So I don't want to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it. And I don't even know if Curls To Go is available anymore. Um, this was a Jane Carter 
product and I think Jane Carter rebranded or something like that. So I don't know. I picked this up from Sally's, but they don't carry it anymore. So I don't know where you can get it if, if it's even available. But anyway, I'm getting rid of that. Next thing I used up was the Nature's Little Secret Family Creek Detangling Pre-Poo. Use this up on my son's hair and it's good. If you like to pre-poo, then you would like this. This is very much um, reminiscent of the Just For Me or the African Pride pre-poo as far as texture and things like that. This is not as sticky in my opinion. It is slimy, but it's not as sticky as those and it has better ingredients than those. You are gonna pay a higher price, but you're paying for good ingredients, but it definitely will detangle the hair. So if you haven't tried it, I say pick it up, give it a try. Again, have a discount code in the description box. So if you're interested in Nature's Little Secret, make sure you jot down there and get that discount code and click that link. Okay. And I would repurchase it again. Um, this is the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. I show, shared this in a previous video saying that I don't think that it's any good anymore and I had it in my to be used up. It just has changed colors and it doesn't smell right, so I'm getting rid of it. And I really used to like this leave-in, um, but again, it started being hit or miss. Sometimes it worked well, sometimes it didn't, so I probably would not repurchase it. But again, a lot of people still love it. Next thing that is in my empties is this As I Am Moisture Milk. And it was in my to be used up and I am gonna go ahead and get rid of it. When I first became natural, I had a TWA. I love this As I Am Moisture Milk. I used to use all the As I Am products, the co-wash, the leave-in, everything. And this moisture milk was my moisturizer of choice. After I have tried a whole lot of things and I started liking some other moisturizers. I went back and repurchased this one because I hadn't used it for a while just to see. And to me, it just doesn't stand up to the other ones. It smells good, but it's a lot thinner and it's really oily and it separates a lot. So right now it, it's separated and um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And I probably won't repurchase this because I do like the other moisture looks that I shared with you in my favorite milks video. If you have not seen it, I'll link it. But yeah, I like those milks better. So I'll continue to use those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because I'm not gonna use it. I just don't want the stuff in my to be used up just to be sitting around, sitting around, sitting around. And I know I'm not gonna use it. I still have some stuff over there that I do think that I'm gonna use. Hopefully I'll get through those this year. We will see. But the things I know I'm not gonna get through, I just went on and threw in here. Next thing that was in my to be used up is the Product Junkie Naturals Bougie Curls Defining Gel. A little bit left. And remember I said that I um, like this. I actually bought two of them. They were over on my shelf. If you looked at my last stash video, um, I got them when she was rebranding. And um, I like this one. I tried it a while back. I'll leave a video. I used it for a twist out, worked well for a twist out. I used this for a wash and go, like a cream gel. It's a defining gel, so cream gel. I used it for a wash and go. It worked well for a wash and go too. So that's why I liked it. It was hard to find on her site. You actually had to put the title in to find it. So I bought two when she was rebranding because you know they were on sale and I'm hoping that I like them as well as I like these. I need to go ahead and pull those out um, for those of you who want a good cream gel. Um, don't like the crunch and all that kind of stuff, but want the hold. I need to revisit those and go ahead and get that out to you guys because I want to see if I still like it too, especially before they go bad because she uses really good products. So, next thing I used up was the Main Choice Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. You guys know that I love this and I would repurchase this as long as the ingredients stay the same. And I've already repurchased over Black Friday, or it was actually a little bit after Black Friday when Sally's had their 50% off stylers. I picked up a couple of these, so I do have this on hand already, and I would recommend it. Next thing that's in my to be used up is the Sotanicals Frozen uh, Drip and Grip gel um remember i have been trying to get my hands on this for a while you see that glop so i've had it that long it's not enough for me to do anything with i did get my hands on frozen over black friday i have two of them down there i hope i can get them to work so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this i'm not gonna try to mix this with those and everything uh, because this is just old i've had it for too long and so i'll just 
pop open a new one when I want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Next thing is the Honey's Handmade Yucca Mango Honey Growth Thickening Hair Lotion. It's about down to here. I tried to use it up. I was using it for pre pruning and all that kind of stuff. It was okay. It did uh, moisturize the hair. It, um, it wasn't a standout to me though. And so I didn't get through it and now it's kind of old. And now I, I don't really um, purchase from Honey's Handmade anymore. Now, again, Honey's Handmade has really good products. When I use their products, I like them. There wasn't a whole lot of products that I tried from them that I didn't like. Most of them I loved, actually. She had really good ingredients as well. I didn't really have any problems with her shipping or anything like that. I eventually did have a problem with an order, but I reached out to them. They got the order changed and fixed right away, no problem. Um, but then what they did was they started using my content my likeness my videos and stuff like that promoting their stuff without my consent without letting me know um, and i was a avid user of honey's me handmade talked about them all the time on my channel and so that left a bad taste in my mouth i reached out to them about it no response now any other time you're responding back and everything but when i talk talk to you about something that you did that was unethical then you don't re want to return you know um an email or whatever so yeah that's what's going on with them so i will not be repurchasing that but their products are good so i'm not telling you not to use them they, these are my issues <laughs> my issues okay um and i'm not gonna bash the products because i like the products i know a lot of people said they have problems with the consistencies and stuff like that i never had any problems with the inconsistencies in her products her products always came to me in good condition they smelled good they worked well um Next thing that I used up, or next thing that's in my empties, which is not used up, is the main choice Heavenly Halo Softening Milk. Remember, I purchased this a while ago when I was trying to look for some new milks because right at the time I was only using Camille Rose Naturals. And in case I couldn't find that, I wanted to have another one on hand. And so I picked this up and I never just really got into it. I think I tried it once, maybe twice, and I can't remember a lot about it, but now it is kind of discolored and it's separating a little bit, so it's just really old, so I just don't wanna use it on my hair either. I mean, it smells okay, but it's just starting to look kinda of brown. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Next thing I used up was the Caressed um, Daily Silk Body Bar. like it. I would repurchase it, but I won't repurchase it before I repurchase Dove or Olay. I like Dove and Olay better, but every once in a while when I just want to change in the scent or something like that, I'll pick it up. Next thing I used up was the Tom's anti plaque and whitening toothpaste this is the value pack it had two in it i picked these up for my husband he likes these and i will continue to repurchase because he likes them next thing i used up was the suave daily two-in-one um, shampoo and conditioner picked this up a while ago for my son or my husband for their hair and my husband used it up he didn't say one way or the other about it so i won't pick it up before i pick up his favorite which is the uh, what is it? The almond and shea. Sorry, guys. Cody's mo he's moving the camera. Um, I will pick up the other ones first. But for some reason, I found this on sale somewhere, maybe at the dollar store or something like that. I might pick up a few for him. Uh, next thing that's in my two empties is the Palmer's cocoa butter and biotin cream style cotton. Sorry guys, it's the coconut butter and biotin cream styler. It looks like this. Um, I had the gel to this line. Actually, I had the whole line. I enjoyed the gel, um, but I couldn't, I was, I've been having a hard time finding it. And I was gonna use this. I think I used this under the gel. I think I was gonna try to use it as a twist out. Anyway, I just never got back to it. Didn't, never got back to it. It's been in my to be used up for a while. Have not gravitated to it. Probably won't use it. It's it's only a little bit in here. So I've gotten my money's worth out of it because it was very inexpensive. I think I picked these up from Sally's at the time. They don't carry this line anymore. So 
yeah, won't re be repurchasing that. Next thing that's in my empties is the Main Choice Tropical Moringa um, Rinse Out Conditioner. It goes with the Pearly Grayed Out Glaze. And I actually like this conditioner. I like the shampoo as well, but I think I have already used up the shampoo. The conditioner is like, down here I can barely get it out so it's in my empties the shampoo and conditioner from this line is really good very moisturizing but I probably just won't repurchase it because I have so many other shampoos and conditioners that I like yeah I'll probably pass it up just because I have other stuff but not because it's not good it is good again if I saw this somewhere really cheap where I could get this for two dollars or something like that I might pick it up but other than that I'm not gonna pay the main choice prices for their shampoos and conditioners. Um, so that's that. And the next thing I used up was this little hand cream by La Chatelaine. I believe is how you pronounce it. It's cinnamon and orange scent. And I got this in like a Ipsy a while ago. Um, and I just had it at my bedside table and I will put it on the in the evenings or whenever, you know, I was in bed and needed, you know, something on my hands. It's okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. I mean, it smelled okay and things like that. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is more expensive than what I would want to buy. But I probably won't repurchase. I'm not going to seek it out. I'll use, I'll pick up any hand cream. Next thing I used up was the Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation in the color 330. Yes, I would repurchase this. I love this. It is my favorite stick foundation or one of my favorites, I should say, stick foundation. It matches me really well, so I definitely would repurchase it. And last but not least is the L'Oreal Voluminous um mascara i'm sorry this is not last um but i'm out of the or i used up the l'oreal voluminous original mascara and i would repurchase it and the primer to this i like this mascara it's affordable you can find it anywhere i would repurchase and last but not least is the l'oreal telescopic now, I would not repurchase this. Look at this. So, this was new. This was new. I purchased it, went to use it the very first day that I used it. Worked okay when I went to use it the next time. So, the second use, it did this. I cannot get it because it's so telescopic and thin. I can't get it back inside the tube and it bent and everything. And because I couldn't get it back in there, it has since dried out so that is a waste of money so no i will not be buying the telescopic mascaras from l'oreal that's my experience so no i'll stick to uh oh i'll stick to the voluminous mascara but yeah guys that is it oh, let me put that in the trash that is it for my empties as far as body care, skin care, hair care, those things are concerned. Let me know um, if you've used any of these things, which ones you liked, uh, the ones that I have shown you. Let me know if you want to see my household cleaning products, seasonings and things like that, if they're empty. I know a couple of you said that you would be interested, but I didn't get enough people to say that. So I don't wanna be doing it videos when I only have one or two suggestions for it. I wanna use my time wisely. So let me know that as well. And guys, that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.